Concentrate on Canadian seniors' monthly pension payments will change. Recent pronouncements by the Canada Revenue Agency about changes to the CPP and old Ag Security OS payments may require you to revise your retirement savings strategies. Here's all the information you need on the latest developments that could affect your financial future, whether you're receiving benefits or planning for retirement. These modifications may increase your income or alter your monthly budget. New Canada Revenue Agency regulations are transforming the Canada Pension Plan and old age security programs. These upgrades are part of the government's ongoing efforts to promote retirement comfort in Canada. ensure Canada's pension system's long-term stability and satisfy aging population needs. These changes will dramatically impact millions of Canadian seniors and near retirees' monthly income and financial planning. Rock of. Canada's retirement benefits system relies on old age security, personal savings such registered retirement savings plans and tax-free savings accounts, and the Canada Pension Plan or Quebec Pension Plan. Due to changing demographics, economic conditions, and population longevity, Canadians' ability to live comfortably in their golden years has changed. Is another step in the evolution to improve Canadian seniors' financial stability. One of the most important CPP changes is the continuance of the 2019 Improvement Program. This modification increases the replacement rate to benefit future retirees. Pre-retirement earnings were 25% dash 33.333. This modification will increase retiree CPP payouts, but also compel them to contribute more during their working years. The improvement is phased in so employees and firms may adjust to higher contribution rates. The first stage. Gradually raising the contribution rate on earnings up to the annual pensionable earnings improve things. After CPP contribution rates change, earnings above the YIMPI are subject to additional contributions in the second phase. Employees and employers contribute 5.95% of their income between the basic exemption amount and the YB, plus a percentage of their earnings over the IME up to the new upper earnings limit to these extended benefits in 2024. 11.9% on eligible income, including employee and business components, increase these contribution rates to pay for future retirees better benefits. The K retained and improved adaptability. If you start receiving your CP retirement income between 60 and 70, your monthly payments are permanently adjusted. Start getting benefits before 65 and your payments will be lowered by 0.6% every month, up to 36% at 60. Delay benefits over 65 and your payments will be decreased by the same amount. Increases monthly payments by 0.7% until age 70. When they reach 42%, individuals can tailor their retirement income strategy to their needs. Workers who earn CPP benefits can keep them after retirement. You receive a PRB on your monthly CPP payment the next year for each year you contribute while collecting retirement benefits. After collecting CPP, seniors can improve their retirement income with this option. It is essential for retirement income. Opportunity for elderly to work after CPP benefits the old age security scheme has also changed. The C has increased its automatic enrollment program for OYA benefits, enrolling additional seniors at 65. This modification streamlines benefit applications, but seniors should still check enrollment status around six months before 65 to avoid compensation cuts. The government has introduced the automatic enrollment enhancement, similar to the CPP, to ensure that all eligible seniors receive their entitlement payments. Claimants can delay OS eligibility until 65, which offers. Unlike CPP, which cannot be started before 65, OAS increases permanently at 0.6% per month up to 36% at age 70, so postponing it must be carefully considered as more seniors work past retirement age. Given proper care and retirement planning and tax implications, the clawback or occupational disability insurance ODA recovery tax threshold will be adjusted for inflation in 2024. Above the barrier, ODA advantages decline. When net income exceeds $86,900 for retirement income planning, especially for seniors with higher salaries who must carefully manage their income to keep up with inflation, these requirements must be understood. Limit benefit reductions the guaranteed income supplement, which helps OS members with lower earnings, has also changed. The program now includes automated reassessment, modified eligibility requirements for specific categories, and a higher job and self-employment income exemption. These reforms help low-income seniors and make it easier for 65-year-old retirees to collect benefits. The most noticeable change is quarterly benefit indexation, which will help retirees receive payments faster. Adjust for cost of living increases in the OA's recovery tax levels, greater GEESE benefits, and increased CP benefits after retirement. These changes affect grantees differently by income. 
Individuals should evaluate their age, whether they are working, and their personal circumstances to maximize their retirement resources. Need to consider benefit integration, how long they've worked, and when the CPPP and OA's benefits start. To combine government benefits with individual retirement plans, you must understand these factors. Younger workers will feel the full impact of the enhanced CPP in the years before retirement. Decisions taken now might affect retirement income for years. Potentially higher lifetime pension payouts, CPP contribution rate adjustments during working years, and the need for new retirement savings strategies, the higher payments may lower take home pay, but the benefits will increase retirement security. Younger workers must consider their future safety. Retirement savings plans, given these changes, the changes to OIS and CPP have huge implications for retirement planning, requiring budget adjustments for higher CPP contributions, thoughtful planning for voluntary retirement savings, and the tax implications of different revenue sources must be assessed. The best time to start CPP and OA's benefits must be carefully considered to maximize benefits. Integrating private pensions with public benefits and planning. Possibilities with OA's clawback both during employment and retirement, the changes have major tax implications. Increased CPP contributions influence taxable income, tax credits, deductions, and other income-tested benefits. Retire after working integration of multiple revenue streams is essential to optimize taxes, limit OAS clawback thresholds, and strategically withdraw monies from separate accounts. You may need to adjust. Investing techniques such as reassessing risk tolerance, integrating investment mix components with expected government benefits, and considering inflation protection requirements, reevaluating retirement savings goals and distributing assets among multiple. Cost cuts with CPP benefit increases, cars may be reevaluated. Low-income seniors should evaluate their retirement income needs while selecting these financial possibilities. With changes come many important factors to consider about. Since several benefit programs can be applied for, improved YEC eligibility, benefits integration with provincial programs, and strategic planning to optimize government support should be stressed to this demographic. Middle-income retirees struggle to manage their many income streams, the organization's clawback threshold, tax efficiency, and public benefits and individual savings. This generation may need to adjust their retirement strategies, notably regarding account distribution and income control due to the possible increase in CPP contributions. High-income retirees must consider OAs. Integration of various retirement income streams, estate planning, clawbacks, and tax-efficient exits maximizing retirement income while minimizing income and tax rates requires a well-planned strategy. Factors to consider some jurisdictions offer Quebec pension plan variants and provincial senior supplements. Consider federal and provincial benefits like health and medication coverage and property tax deductions and deferrals while saving for retirement. As they near retirement, seniors with overseas relationships should consider how federal and provincial benefits may affect their income. Impact on international tax treaties for Social Security is another consideration. Consequences for pension portability and currency exchange these factors might complicate retirement planning and require expert counsel. The pension system will likely evolve over time. Adjustments to CPP retirement age criteria, benefit formulas, and contribution rates and limits final retirement planning requires keeping up with these changes and their meanings. To maximize their retirement benefits and be financially secure, Canadians must plan ahead, check their plans periodically, and make modifications as the retirement landscape evolves. The upgraded CPP and adjusted OI schemes provide better retirement security, but personal initiative is still needed. All Canadians, regardless of age or retirement, must keep informed, accurate and consistent fiscal plan preparation and review. Retirement planning requires staying informed and seeking competent advice, especially given these developments and their interactions. Consult tax specialists, financial advisors, and lawyers to increase the possibility. Each person's retirement plan is customized to their goals. Attending retirement planning seminars, following car releases, and analyzing benefit statements can help you make informed retirement planning decisions. These changes affect benefit startup decisions affect estate planning, family financial planning, and retirement planning. Retirement income planning and multi-income integration can have significant ramifications for spouses and dependents. Understanding how retirement plan components interact is crucial to successful retirement planning in light of these changes.